Hi, fifth graders. We're working on one of your final um, activities of the year, and uh, that is how California, here we come. And um, the section we're doing today is uh, one of my favorites, hotels, finding places to stay. I love planning vacations. So this is right up my alley. So I hope you enjoy it as well. So with this one, you're going to have some flexibility. Um, first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to find that hotel in California where you're going to stay for five nights, right? You're going to stay for five nights. So once you arrive in California, you're going to have to pay for five nights of hotel stays, right? So it's your choice. You can choose the least expensive hotel with the least amenities. Amenities are like extra things, swimming pools and, and game rooms and uh, beaches, all kinds of things like that. And uh, so, or you can find the most expensive hotel with, with amazing amounts of amenities, fancy restaurants and fancy swimming pools and all kinds of good stuff. And maybe, who knows, maybe water slides uh, for kids. All right, so that's your job for today. That's part of your job to find, again, that one hotel in California. And I'll show you in just a moment how you can do that. But there's more. Um, on your way to California, you're going to stop. You're going to be stopping um, a number of times. Uh, you're deciding on your stop. So by now, you should know where you're stopping. For each night that you stop, you're going to need a hotel. So when you stop, you find a hotel in that area using the hotel sites. And we'll use one in just a moment. And, um, and then you go ahead and you put all of them on a form, as you'll see. You'll put all of them on a slide. You'll put the five nights of hotel. So let's say just as an example, in California, you find a hotel for $200 a night. Well, you have to multiply that by five because you're staying for five nights, so that's $1,000, but there's more. Uh, for each night that you stay on your way out, you also have to find a hotel in that location and put the price add up the price of the hotels on your way and plus the hotel stay in California. So let's take a look at, at the different sites. You have Expedia.com. By the way, don't get your parents' credit card and actually book this vacation, please. This is just for fun. Um, but who knows? Maybe someday you'll do this vacation. Um, you can go to Hotels.com, Priceline.com. I'm a fan of Expedia. All right, I find Expedia pretty easy to use. Um, so you can see here, you're not flying. <laughs> Some of you are like, why not? Um, and I don't want you to worry about the date, um, except for the five nights day. All right. So going to, as an example, Sacramento, California pops right up. All right. So I want to stay for five nights. So it says June 2nd, right? So the night of June 2nd, the night of June 3rd, June 4th, June 5th, June 6th. Right. You're leaving June 7th. So you're staying from the 2nd to the 7th. So that gives you the span. And let's see, for your rooms, well, how many people are going? Is it just you? All right, that would be a lonely trip. Um, so I'm going to adjust. The number of travelers and maybe in your family you have two adults and maybe there are two children zero to 17 all right and then you have to put the ages in you're around 11 ish maybe your brother or sister is nine ish all right and then done and now we're going to swoop Check out, for some reason, took check out back to the third, so be careful of that. All right, I'm bragging about Speedia being my favorite site and it's causing me issues. All right, so double check that you're high for the five nights and then we hit search. All right, so I put the dates in. Again, don't worry about the dates, just make sure you have five nights included. Okay, and then you can look at all the different hotels randomly. The courtyard has a picture of, I don't know if that tells us much about the hotel. Um, but in any event, so you look at the different prices and maybe you want to go low. 
Maybe you want to go high. You can even sort by, you can do the sorting. How about we sort by um, price? Let's sort by price. And we're going to start as the lowest. So <laughs> the Motel 6 Davis. Now, this will be the lowest of low as far as the price is concerned. So you can pick that if you want, but you keep going and going and going. You can go a little higher, higher, higher. And maybe you want something a little nicer. So let's say you jump up to the days in Wyndham. Wouldn't be for me, but maybe it's for you. So $108. So you've clicked $108. Again, don't get your parents' credit card. You can see all the amenities. Wow, they have an outdoor swimming pool. They actually have a bathroom. Nice. All right. So maybe that's what you want. So you go to the check rate. We need two double beds. And we check the rate. It says for five nights, $615. So $615 for five nights. So you're going to jot down somewhere for now, $615, and then write the name of the hotel. The name of the hotel, I've already forgotten because again, I wouldn't be staying there. But um, nevertheless, let's see, I think it was a, uh, what's this now? A Wyndham Days Inn or something like that. Oh yes, Days Inn, Sacramento. So you jot down the days in, um, and then the, you have the five nights. What amenities does it have? It has a swimming pool. So you want to jot that down because you'll be adding that to your slide. Swimming pool. What other amenities? Oh, it even has the word amenities here. Let's see what fancy. Oh, it actually has internet. So you don't have to jot down all the amenities. <laughs> Wow, you get a free breakfast. All right, there you go. Oh, fitness center, outdoor pool, spa or tub, right? All kinds of amenities here. So you can jot down just two or three amenities is fine. So now let's go back to our activity. So again, that's what we did for that. That's only for the stay in Sacramento. Then you're going to go back and do the same thing on Expedia for. Uh, the different stops across the country. All right, here's the good news. If you're struggling with this, this is something I like to do. I'm a big fan, as I said in the beginning, of, of uh, planning travel. So you are very welcome to jump into one of my Zooms in the afternoon, and I can certainly, I'd certainly be happy to help you with this uh, portion of it. So anyway, let's look ahead to what else we do with this. So let me come back to... California, here we come. We have the hotel stay. And let me get back to the original activity. And we have the slides here. I'm going to show you the slides. These will be edited a little bit. They won't look exactly like this. So we'll come down to, let me find hotel stay. Stopping points, no. Hotel stay, yes, here we go. So this is a hotel stay. So city, Sacramento, hotel name, days in Wyndham, amenities, swimming pool, internet, free breakfast. And then finally the cost. The cost we said was $615 for the five nights. All right, $615. Now you have to do more. So again, you're gonna go back and for each stop, you're going to write the city, the hotel name, a couple of the amenities and how much it costs for the night. And for your next stop, you'll do the same thing. And for your next stop, you'll do the same thing. And for your next stop, you'll do the same thing. And then you'll add up all of the costs of the hotels until you have a final price for your hotel. And you'll be adding that um, eventually to a final um, slide with your total hotel price. So good luck with this. And again, I'm here to help. So come on in in the afternoon and I can walk you through this and we'll have a little fun with it. If you feel like you do it on your own, go for it. Enjoy. Um, maybe you can even get an adult in your house to, to help you because they might enjoy this since we're coming toward the vacation season. All right, fifth graders, have fun with this.
do a good job with it, find some fancy hotels, and live happily ever after. Okay, I shall see you soon.